What's going on guys? It is the SMT and in today's video I want to start it off by giving a shout out to a subscriber just like you. Uh, Jeremy provided a donation, a PayPal share donation. Uh, he is the sponsor of this video so I want to give a big thank you and a special shout out to him for supporting production here on the channel. Uh, if you would like to do the same, there's a PayPal link down in the description box to get yourself that special SMT shout out and support the production here on the YouTube channel. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video now. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how the wireless providers did in terms of performance as they went up against Hurricane Dorian and the tropical storm effects from it. So uh, in terms of how they performed, overall, it looks like the carriers did pretty well. Uh, North Carolina was the state that was affected probably at the greatest extent. Uh, obviously, usually you just kind of assume the worst for Florida, but uh, anywhere along the Gulf and the uh, Atlantic coast are greatly affected by these types of tropical storms. So that being said, North Carolina was the greatest affected by the storm. Verizon reported very minimal outages. I think only a single area of North Carolina was affected with any type of outage. I think it was at the Outer Banks, North Carolina. AT&T actually had no reported outages at all, so bravo to them. T-Mobile was the most affected by the tropical storm, but they did restore services by midday when the storm actually landed uh, onto land. So I believe Sprint had some reported issues, but it was nothing widespread. So I would say overall, pretty much all the carriers responded really well to the whole thing. I think they were very prepared for it. Uh, it looked like they took a lot of the necessary steps to try to kind of prevent as much damage as they could. And of course, having the systems in place that if services did go out, they could respond very quickly and restore services as efficiently as possible. So I want to actually give them a, a round of applause. I want to say that the carriers did much better than they have done in the past. But, you know, who knows? With different category storms, the effects can be worse depending on the storm. So if, if it was a worse storm, maybe it could have been harder to restore or maintain service. But uh, in overall, I think we could safely say they did a pretty good job, especially AT&T with no reported outages. Very good by them. Uh, so on the other kind of part of this video, more outages on the T-Mobile side. Voice calling seems to be an issue. Uh, the data network has not been reported as having issue, but the calling is. Uh, occurred Friday night, September 7th. Regional issue appears to be the problem at hand, mostly affected in the East Coast region. Uh, users were experiencing immediate disconnects upon trying to connect to calls. 15,000 customers reported the issue within the first couple of hours in the afternoon. Uh, Philadelphia, New York City, Washington, D.C., Newark, New Jersey, Chicago, Illinois, Houston, uh, Providence, Rhode Island, Baltimore all reported these issues. Metro customers also identified having the same calling problems. There was some rumor of Verizon and Sprint having issues, but it was clearly isolated and not as widespread. In fact, I couldn't really find much on it, just a few reports of it. Uh, perhaps it was a direct issue in calling with T-Mobile, which is why some of the Verizon and Sprint customers reported this, but we didn't see the same issues from AT&T. So according to all reports covered in this video, AT&T seemed to have done the best. They seem to have the best systems in place and having the least issues overall in calling and data and connectivity. So I want to give a big uh, round of applause to AT and for AT&T for doing that and being the most prepared and probably the sharpest operating network of the big four. Looks like T-Mobile's having a lot of issues. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but there have been a lot of uh, poor performance issue associated with T-Mobile. Hopefully this all blows over. Hopefully it gets taken care of. Whatever systems issues and protocols are, are having issues with, hopefully they can get that rectified and fixed and that it doesn't affect the customers in the long term. Uh, nobody likes to see customers down and without service. I'm sure they're doing as much as they can. I'm sure the engineers are on it, and I'm sure customers are being, uh, you know, either provided with some credits or given some type of a consolation and all this. But uh, hopefully that's the case, and hopefully they can fix it so these issues don't continue moving forward. Uh, that's it for this video. If you guys could, please like this video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And if you want to get more involved with the channel and the communities, we've got the Discord chat. That's in the description box, got a link there, as well as the Patreon page if you'd like to get more uh, more in-depth looks at some of the topics we do, and actually some exclusive topics that we don't cover on the channel, check out the Patreon page, link in the description box below, 
And uh, if you would like to support production here on the SMT YouTube channel, there is a PayPal link. Uh, if you'd like to make a smaller occasional monetary donation to support production here on the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. I am the SMT, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.